Well, hello and welcome back, and thank you for coming back. Today, well, you may have guessed it, we're in the old town, and we're going to storm the main entrance of the municipal market and take you around some of the shops and some of the stalls and show you what's going on. Great, great shops. If you're a tourist or even if you live in downtown Paphos, it's a great, great place for you to come. Most of the products in there you can buy for between 5 and 50 euros, and that's going to be something quite nice. So it could be a great, great gift for your wife, your girlfriend, or that special, special person in your life. But before we start, let's introduce you to the most beautiful woman in the world. Her name is Archin. Sylvia. Hello, Booth. Hello, everybody. How nice to see you again and again. And again. Let's follow the rear end of Ochin. Grisivia. Le Bouf. So this is one of the main entrances into the municipal market area. And it's very, very popular indeed with locals and tourists around. And you've got various shops around. This one is a silver shop. It's called the Miller Silver Shop. Yes, yes. And if you come in here, you can get some great, 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 great unique gifts, that's for sure. It's the place to come for that special, special gift. So when you come to Pathos, make sure that you take an hour or two hours out of your day to come into this area. This is about 25, 30 shops in here, and it's a very, very popular place indeed. This one's selling tablecloths and handbags and all that kind of thing. And again, great, great quality and a great, great variety. Receive you at a booth. It's amazing how beautifully done shops now they are here. Yeah, all of this has been completely refurbed. If you came here pre-COVID-19, this wasn't like this. So if you haven't visited here since after the pandemic, take the time in the day to come up and have a look. Yes, and I would like to see all the shops, all the shops. <sighs> Perhaps I wasn't such a wise man always better when they're closed again another great great shop selling handbags there's a cat waving to us over there there's clothes there's beachwear there's baseball caps there's nice little umbrellas there's a lot of things going on as i keep saying there's some works of art to go on the beach there's some nice linen shirts a lot of people are into linen that's very very much in fashion and there's a lot of nice fashion over there that's for sure a lot of things that Cusivi Le Bouffe, i'm sure would like to go and Stick a nose in, that's for sure. Stevie? Yes, you're right, Mr. Ha Paul. How did you guess? <laughs> right, come on. Let's keep going. There's more and more shops, and we'd like you to come with us and have a quick look. Quite airy and quite light. Beautiful in here, actually. The atmosphere is absolutely perfect, and it stays very, very cool. The construction of it makes it absolutely perfect. Yet another gift shop. And it sells all sorts of things. These are like, well... I don't know what they actually are, but they're for opening a can of beer or something. That's for sure. And then if you want that little extra gift to put in that Christmas stocking, for example, lots of the youth of today and the older people like ourselves are into these little leather bracelets and they're only one euro fifty a pop. You haven't got to have a lot of money in your pocket if you come into these shops, that's for sure. You've got some nice crafted wood art over here. Again, most of it very, very reasonable prices indeed. Only two ninety nine for these. If you fancy a cat who's doing a bit of fishing, that's only four euros and seventy nine cents. So that's a bargain, that's yes, for sure. Yes, the and there's their smaller there. versions. I quite like these. They're very, very yes, cute. I like cats. So those are four seventy nine. Those are three seventy nine. Great, great gift. I might come back for one of them later. This gentleman wants to show us something else. Mm -hmm. Good little shop, actually. Yeah. Lots of beachwear, very, very colourful indeed. There's something for Cassivia Le Bouffe. She was in a full leopard theme yesterday. So only 10 euros, there we to set. So great, great prices, that is for sure. Cassivia? I would like to say that these shops here, everybody should visit in order to find something there on. Yeah, you've got to come to the old town of Paphos. Uh, it's all very nice to come to Paphos for a great suntan, lie on a beach. But please take the time to come up into the old town and have a little rummage around. There's one of our good barrows, Maria. This is a mum's shop. This is another version of the Miller Silver Shops. They've got two branches in this market. Pop in there. You're not going to spend that much money, that's for sure. Again, items at between 10, 15 euros. Sunglasses at 7.99 a pop. Some little bracelets. There's all sorts of things going on. You've got a shop over here selling handbags and more beachwear and t-shirts. Very, very nice shop indeed. So, 
Put 50 euros in your pocket, come into the old town and spend, spend, spend. Receiving the booth has found something. Very, very colourful. Yeah, there we are. Very nice thing to we see you both performing in love, that's for sure. Yes. I can see the look in your eyes. You are wandering around, pondering on what to actually choose. There we are. In fact, she's going to choose absolutely everything that's in every single oh, shop. Everything, everything. Stick with us. We're going to go over this shop over here. Because in this shop, we've got a Goombaru. And her name is Miss Nadia. Let's go and see if she's in today. And it's nice and cool as well. Nope. She doesn't appear to be in, but she was in earlier on. I spotted her. So again, it's a gift shop. They've got one down in the harbour area on the front of the promenade. You often hear us mention her. And this is their uptown branch, and they've got a huge, huge stock room out the back. So if there's something you find in the harbour shop, perhaps in the daytime, and you go back at night time after thinking about it, and you want to buy it, and it's not there, perhaps it's been sold, you describe it to her, she'll come up to the uptown and bring it down for you and keep it for you for the next morning. That is for sure. Receiving the booth. Wow. That's quite a nice jacket, to be honest. Oh, there we are. She's found something in there. Why didn't I know that they used to have such a nice thing? Now it's very small for me. <laughs> now it's very small for her. Never mind. We'll send it off to Shanghai, get her rebooted, and she'll come back as a much, much slimmer version. Receiving. Wow, how beautiful. I don't know where to look, by the way. And I think I the viewers have noticed that bit. I really like There's not much conversation coming I, out of you. You're just wandering I around, really like randomly picking things up. This is a top on your balconies. On the balconies. Right. Please explain that. What's a balcony? Balconies. That's a balcony. There we are. To no. use a very correct and nice, uh, our password, parole, <laughs> parole word. What's the rear end then? It's a veranda. Veranda. Okay. So, what we like to look at is the veranda look, and obviously the balcony. Look. Look, this look. is the, on your balconies. Yes. And then to cover your look. veranda, it's a skirt. A skirt. Which is this one. Wow. Is it? Or oh, I'm mistaken. Yes. A skirt. I think we'd all like to see you wearing that, yes. Christina Lebeau. And then a, and a nice jacket. jacket. On the top. Yes, very nice. And they've got also this. In the beige. beige. Oh. And of course, I was uh, a bit You were upset. fancying that as well. Yes. Yeah. Of course. But this one no, is, is very small now for me. Now, pain boys, be scared. You take her in the shop, and as you've noticed, I have to literally drag her out. She won't listen to a word you say. She'll be getting your wallets out, and she'll be fleecing you blind, that's for sure. Ooh, now, unfortunately, Miss Nadia seems to have left the building. I think she's gone up to the stock shop. Anyway, she's now found something else. Oh, Mr. Paul, you have to buy this for me, otherwise I will sit and cry. That would be quite nice on film. Can you sit down and cry? Yes. There we are. Talking about a spoiled child. Right, come on, Grisibio Labouf. Some nice baseball caps as well. And everyone understands I do like a nice baseball cap, that's for sure. Especially if it's in blue. Hello, my friend. There she is. Miss Nadia has arrived. There we are. You alright? How are you doing? How are you? Good? Good? So, she's arrived. Anyway, here we are. Receive the booth is practicing our languages. I would like to say many, many thanks for watching, and I think I should, Mr. Paul should take his wallet out and should buy something for me. Otherwise, I will really, really cry. And this little girl will look at me and say, What is she doing? Right, stick with us. We're going to go and show you a view. There's a great, great view across the road. It's a view that literally is worth dying for. So, once you've finished having a wander around and spending those couple of euros, there's cafes and bars absolutely everywhere and then right across the road is a view that quite simply is to die for so stick with us for another minute or so as we get to it and it's the view straight down across the Elysium Hotel which means that that is the Lighthouse Beach and it's the Tomb of the Kings area 
and it's a great, great place to be. Now, if you are staying down in the Tomb of the Kings area, to get up here will take you around 15, 20 minutes to walk. If you are in, should we say, the Hotels Avenue, Pasadonis Avenue, down in the Harbour Promenade area, it'll probably take you about 25 to 30 minutes to walk up here. The walk is primarily uphill, so take a bottle of water with you and please do it early in the morning, because even in the off season, it will be quite warm. But once you get here, you're going to have a great, great time. And of course, going back down, well, you can just roll down because it's very, very easy. There is a bus service up and down. There's a main bus station down there. And that's where the intercity bus goes from as well. And obviously, there's a taxi lot just over there. And obviously, there'll be a taxi lot outside your hotel. So if you want a taxi or a bus, you can do it. Or you can go and see Major Tito and get one of his electric trikes. Or, as most people do, you can use your two legs and walk because it's not going to take you that long and on the route you can stop and have a drink and a coffee and of course a bite to eat. You see it? I would like to say that uh, the areas around are very tranquil and renovated and all everywhere you want to go you can go downstairs and take the bus so it's not going to be very very hard for you to walk everywhere you want you can go and also don't forget to go through that way to the coral beach bay beach to swim and to have a sunbathe. quite a long way to walk don't of course quite long way to walk and don't forget to cream to, to cream a tape <laughs> not to take it she's confused with english i said don't forget to cream a tape no to take a cream this is my english i'm apologizing for that but i would like to tell you that we are loving you to bits. We are very, very humbled that we've got you. Thank you ever so much for all your attention and support. And don't forget to come and see another of our madnesses. Many kisses and... What's left for me to say is thanks for watching. Of course, if you do like what you see, hit the like, click subscribe, and please come back for a little bit more of our madness. We'll leave you with a view from Uptown Panapathos all the way down to Cato Pathos. Thanks for watching.